Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's G from Happiness and Crafting. So it is Sunday today and I thought we would add again into our lovely art journal. Um, I'm going to do another sort of autumn theme because this one was what we, I did last week and it's got sort of like the autumn colours in it. So I thought obviously it's on the opposite page so I thought we would be nice to have another autumn colour so I've done a base which is just gesso and I've got some um, relief paste on there with this beautiful um, pattern on there which is lovely and I found this funky little um, napkin which I thought I would pop in there sort of like trying to get a little bit prepared today because um, I don't have too much time but I think that fits in the lovely and it's got these lovely little funky birds in there so it's a nice sort of like autumn leaves I have these colours which are candied apple, we have carved pumpkin, wild honey, um, brushed corduroy. So they're nice colours aren't they? I've got a little bit of gold wax here as well today. I thought I might just like rub over the top of that and I've got my distress crayons. Um, so I'm not going to do anything too major. I do also have some of these lovely words from um, Typology which I might just pop a little word on there as well so we shall see so let's do a background first let's make sure I'm in short properly so that will be perfect um, I've covered that up because I make such a mess that I'll probably make a, a big big mess everywhere so let's start with a little bit of the um, wild honey um, I'm just gonna drop a little bit on the top and then we will um, just spray a little bit of water on it like that a little bit of colour should we have a little bit of carved pumpkin should we have a little bit of colour in here today um, nice orangey I think this is the one that I used well on last week's wasn't it just a little bit spritz of water I think I might have a little bit of the um, brush corduroy in there as well just down here just along this bottom bit I just love the way it sort of like um, feeds into the sort of like nice um, shapes on there doesn't it loving that let's go this way a little bit perfect make sure I do the lids up so I don't drop it let's just add a little bit down to here a nice big brush Lovely, let's quickly dry that. Okay, so that's on there. I want to go in there just a little bit darker, I think, just to pick these out. Just to see what that will go in there like that. Just drop it on. And then lovely now i'm going to be daring and go in with the candied apple just because we have the colors on here so we've got a nice red in there so i can just bring a little bit of the red into it as well which i think oops big mess do i have any tissue here so i'm going to go onto all my other pages Gosh, that's nice, isn't it? Lovely. Now, do I want something underneath the napkin? Or should we just have that white, I think?
Lovely. Quick dry again. Lovely. Right, let me get a brush and then we will stick this napkin down. So I'm going to just use the um, matte medium that I normally use, the nice runny one. Pop this on. him on like that. Oops, it's come down a little bit. There we go. Tap them down, a little bit more glue on there. Do you like the little leaves on here? They look so pretty. Well, I can't believe it's autumn already. It's gone so quick, it seems to. But love these, lovely. Let's stuck down a little bit more. Okay, I think that's all stuck. That's so pretty, just like that, isn't it? Well, obviously I need to dry this napkin. Hold that down. Lovely. Right, let's just quickly dry that a little bit. There we go. I think that's that's a dryer. Right, let's go in with, let's have a look. I'm going to go in with this one, which is the antique linen. Just want to go in just a little bit. Not that you can really see this one. There's a little bit on here. Okay, now we will go in with this one, which is vintage photo. Surprise, surprise. This is a lovely. Let's just go round the edge. I will wet these in a minute because they are water soluble. So let's just give it this lovely border. So it sort of like frames it, doesn't it? Okay, let me get in another. Oh no, I've got my little pen here, haven't I? Right, this is some of the antique linen that I added into this bit. And on here, we've got water coming out. I quite like this as a border. I think that looks really nice. I think I might go in just with a tiny bit of gesso. Just a little bit in a minute. Here we will, let's see. Yeah, 
that's really nice I like the way it's gone in the little cracks of the stencil of the relief paste in there you can see the nice texture it's given as well over the top of there just gives it that sort of like base colour when you put the um, oxide inks on there look so you can see the um, brush corduroy gives it a sort of like a um, bluey patina look that's the word I was looking for it's that beautiful sort of like patina colour isn't it and it's gorgeous so I might go in with a little bit more of that Need blending a little bit more that's really nice so this one it sort of like separates and it's really really lovely colour although I don't want it to be too dark I love that blue bluey green isn't it now I'm going to dry that love it okay i'm going to go in just with a little bit of this gold this lovely gold i go all up my fingernails let's see let's start off with a sort of a drier bit just to catch a little bit of that just on let's go up my fingernails there we go I hope you can see that. I think I did this on, a, on another one of my pages. Just catches it. Seeing it's sort of like water me, it's quite nice to have a little hint of the nice gold in there, isn't it? You can see it. It's not easy to come out of this, isn't it? Let me just get something I can... I'm going to take an end of my paintbrush, I think, and put it there. I think that's going to be easier. That's better. And dipping my finger in the pot. I will do a close-up at the end so you can see what this looks like. A little bit down here. There we go. Well, you can see it's got like that sort of shine to it. Looks really, really pretty. like that okay perfect so that's nice isn't it let's stick to it now if i had some relief paste i think i would probably i i've only got silver i believe this one which is the relief paste but it's only silver and i don't know whether that will come out anyway no, I won't use silver. I will make a big mess if I use silver. I did have gold, but I don't know where it is. And I think that looks really nice like that. Let's get our little Oscar pen. Here it is. Let's go. a little bit of white in here instead of the gesso just 
just highlight that little bit if we can. And then maybe, oops, just on top of just the branches. You probably can't see that too well. little things okay what else should we do shall we just stick that word on and I think that's dry what should we have oh let's have a look together is our favorite place to be so seeing there's lots of little birdies on there do you think that's going to stick on its own there we go look at that doesn't that look good? Okay, should we dare, dare pop a little, little shadow under here, look. Lovely. Doesn't that look nice? I think that looks really good. Oops, upside down. A nice little sort of simple one. Nice quick one this week. Without fiddling with it too much. I think that looks really nice, doesn't it? Let me just have a look. So pretty. Okay, guys, I am going to leave it there. I won't fiddle with that one anymore because I do like it. I will give you a close-up of it um, because you can see all the sort of like textures in there as well. Um, but I'm just loving that. Nice and simple, and it goes nicely with our autumn theme. All right, guys, well, thank you so, so much for joining me. Have a fantastic rest of the day. And I will see you soon. Alright guys, take care. Bye-bye.